Well, it's a cool start to our day, so we might actually want the long sleeves for the next couple of hours. But by the afternoon, it's comfortably mild, short sleeves weather. Want the shades by then as well as sunshine returns. And you won't need that KN95 mask. Yesterday, you probably should have had it because of how bad air quality was. Today, a much improved scene in that department. Temps in the upper 40s to mid 50s at this hour with cloud cover to start the day. 53 in Madison, 52 in Janesville, 53 for Juneau, 50 in Monroe. And we're starting off at 48 in Mineral Point. Okay, into the afternoon, high temps 76, a light refreshing wind out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And I think by around 11 or noon, we'll see sunnier skies and stay that way later into the afternoon hours. So open up the window, soak in that fresh air, and tomorrow gets a little warmer, but still a good chance you can keep the windows open. Sunday, though, will be hotter. I think hot enough where the AC probably has to come back on trend lasting into next week as well. Air quality map looking much better with a lot of good to moderate air quality across the WKOW region and the green indicating that better air quality is actually starting to move in. So expect a blue sky, no more significant haze and no smoky smell as that wildfire smoke starts to move out towards Iowa and Minnesota. It could back build a little bit into our region, but it does look like it'll be rather thin. Nothing as significant as the smoke plumes we saw over the past 48 hours for our weekend. Loop the Lake is happening tomorrow, and if you're going on that nice bike ride around, around Lake Monona, we start off refreshing in the low 60s, so not as cool as this morning. Low 70s by 11 a.m., and ending the event will top off around 80 by 2 o'clock. High temp 82 around 3 or 4 later in the day. Father's Day gets a little bit hotter. Great to get out and enjoy, though, with a high of 85. Still dry with low humidity, so no heat index to track. High pressure sticking around next couple of days, but notice it moves a little farther east. Winds go clockwise around high, so we'll have a flow out of the south, getting us warmer for every day of the forecast, in fact. A uh, weak area of low pressure will start to fizzle as it reaches us, but there is a chance that the west side of Wisconsin, closer to that low by late Sunday evening and overnight, could see one or two brief showers. That's about it for rain chances in our forecast. Hotter weather approaching from the west as well. We'll get to the 70s for the Badger State today, 80s for much of Iowa, and look at low 90s in parts of Nebraska. That heat is building our direction, and I think we're going to be in a heat wave next week with many days in the upper 80s and low 90s. So if you like that mild, refreshing setup, enjoy today with mid-70s this afternoon. Dry, better air quality. Clouds to start and then increasing sunshine late morning into the afternoon. Not as cool tonight, down to 56. And then tomorrow, lots of sunshine, high temp 82. Your seven day forecast gets us to 85 for Father's Day. A stray shower or storm chance possible for Sunday night. Usually, when the shower chance is that limited, I don't even put the icon on the seven day forecast. But I want to give us a glimmer of hope here as it is the only rain chance in that forecast. Next week, it's hotter and staying dry with upper 80s. Monday and Tuesday, low 90s expected by Wednesday and Thursday, and it does look like a hot stretch of weather continuing into next weekend as well. All right.